Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to another Order 66 Toys video. I am so sorry. I know we, we said we'd do this this afternoon. It's we're incredibly late. We got That's swamped. what makes you feel better. We've been working on some very special stuff, coming up with some awesome new ideas, and we've already started working on implementing them actually on what we we have coming up for you guys. Like I said, it's a lot of special happenings. Um, very, very, very soon. So, um, a lot of you have been signing up for T-shirt club since we've announced it. Awesome. Those shirts are awesome. going much quicker they, than I expected. Yeah. Um, again, we're only going to have so many made, so sign up as quickly as you can. And, of course, you get the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one. So, you can always just message Heather or message, Heather. message um, our Order 66 Facebook page, and we can get that all handled for you. Just come in the store and say, hey, how about that T-shirt club? How did I sign up? And we'll get you all squared away. So thank you, Steve. Um, but <coughs> the topic of right now is the new Matthew yes, Warlick art showcase here at Order Sixty Six Toys. All right. So we're gonna ask about the individual uh, pieces here, Matthew. What can you tell me about this piece right here? All right. Well, I brought you a lot. So this one, to start off with, is uh, one of seven original ink drawings. Okay. Um, that I did uh, as a series. Um, did fourteen of them actually. Sold seven. Um, left seven for you guys in the store. Got Where's Kylo, it? Luke. Oh, so it's not Randall. seven Kylos. No. It's seven different Seven Kylos. different ones. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Dark Dark. Six by eight pre-framed. Dark Maul. Okay. And there's some on the back wall we'll get to eventually. Okay. And what about this other piece? Oh, there's yeah. A, there's, there's a helmet hiding back here. This killer uh, vinyl it's all Star Wars spacey. helmet. Oh, it is. This is my Hubble-inspired uh, vinyl Stormtrooper helmet. Um, I love it. A lot of airbrush, a lot of acrylic, and a lot of clear coat. Okay. Pick that up here, too. So this is another one of the... You said... So did you do two of each, or...? No, they're all different. They're all completely different. Oh, so these um, are one-ups. Yeah, they're one-ups. Oh, um, you said they're ink. So this is, a, you know, the real drawing. Yeah, it's an actual original in the frame. One of a kind, never to be recreated. Uh, won't even make prints of them, so yeah, they're truly one on one. That's uh, awesome. Just like the sketch cards, which I have a couple of. So as you can wow. see, um, some villain you, inspired. You were like one of the big deal tops guys, right? I wouldn't call it a big deal. I did some work for Tops You're a big deal on, to on me. the Lucasfilm uh, franchise, specifically the Journey to the Force Awakens uh, sketch card set, which brings us to the next two, which are these two bad boys, which are official Tops. Journey to the Force Awakens sketch cards, Vader and uh, Luke. What's this piece behind, behind it? Behind that, you've got the uh, Anakin Skywalker metallic print, uh, which you guys have 10 of behind the counter. Cool. Um, I really like that one. Yeah, that, one's a, that one seems to be pretty popular. All the Vader stuff, really popular. You can't, you can't go wrong with Vader and bad guys. It, it, what I kind of imagine with this piece in particular especially is... And, and I'd also Dude, like to point out is... Work. Thank you. What I also would like to point out is this Vader helmet looks similar to the Ralph McQuarrie concept design of Vader. I got a soft spot for Ralph McQuarrie. Oh. Absolutely. I love... I think his I original like his designs art. are great. I love his, like, samurai Vader. Mm -hmm. I, I just love that whole feel. It's one of the reasons I went with the, the samurai feel on the other print for his helmet. But anyway, like I was saying, what I imagine, though, with this... After I got off on that tension, <laughs> what I imagine is like Anakin and Vader kind of conversing with each other. Absolutely. Um, the two what personalities personality kind of thing. just going through. Because we do know Vader is in itself a different personality entirely. They, yeah. Even though they're the same embodiment, they're not the same character I by any it, means. I call it the what have I become look. It's, you know, it's Anakin looking at Darth Vader and being like... The, how did I me. get here? Like, how did I get here? What brought me here? Did I really bring myself here? I like, I think that's why he's such a great villain. Like, the Phantom Menace aside, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a relatable character in the fact that he let his anger, you know, turn him into a bad guy. So, I always like that kind of, just kind of got well, it was also his, his willingness to do anything to save people that he loved. Yep. Absolutely. And, no and matter what also, happens to him in the process. Right. Also, him failing to save his mother. And his, and his wife. wife. Well, I mean, <laughs> his wife, he was already Vader at that point. That is true. Real close to it, yeah. That is true. He did, he did no, get he the title Vader before. Darth Vader. I, I thought it was funny. Someone pointed but out. But I don't think the persona really set in until his defeat on Mustafar. 
and his transformation yeah. into Vader. Yeah, he just I think he just gave up. It, 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 it was a title before that point, I believe. I, I, that's how I kind of see it. Yeah, because he gives him the title yep, right before he it's kills just all a, the younglings. It's just a title, Darth Vader, but he doesn't really become Darth Vader. Oh, you say, so you're saying like there was a fracture in his personality? Yeah, once, once, once he got burned alive, once he was laying on that operating table, and Palpatine gave him that message. By the way, you killed her. That's <laughs> <Me> too, <Dubs. laughs> Just so you know, not only not only did you suffer severe burns and you have to live in this suit, right? You lost both your legs and an arm. Um, oh, your wife died. Oh, and the, the one arm that was still real. Yeah. You lost yeah. that one too. All of your limbs are now robotic. And, and your um, wife and your kids. Your Sorry. wife uh, and child died, by the way. Uh, just like I should. Leave. All right. Anyway, no. so um, <laughs> we got some Empire stuff to do now. Cue so the no. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Cue the no. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, no, yeah. That's one. I, I, in my opinion, that's really when Anakin Dude, I just and died know. and I became. I want to know Vader. more about this. Right here. Uh, the Vader deconstructed. <sighs> Love it. The most popular Vader piece. It is the... So that one's got a simple and really not special story. It was a commission. It was a chef's choice. So it was a, hey, here's, I'd like a Vader. You know, do it in your own style, whatever you'd like. Decided to do the uh, deconstruction. And the skull is like, you know, the symbol of death. People love it. I love it. Yeah. So we got ten of those behind from, the counter, too. From certain points of view, Anakin did, in fact, die. From a certain point of view? I mean... Okay, I'm not going to do that, Jeff. But still... <laughs> All right, and then you said we had some more on the wall over there? Oh, yeah. I think we should go look at those, too. Lead the way, Bobby. Wait, lead the so, way? Uh, sure are. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised, man. You didn't tell them, you know, there's an upcoming shirt with that design. Shirt I club. mean, we'll get to it. We'll do it again. Excuse us, guys. Okay. All right, if you didn't watch our video earlier, though, right... Above these pictures is a lamp. <laughs> but if you look past the lamp and the Star Wars sound effects behind the lamp, about the live stream Jedi, <laughs> you will you will see watch those copyrights. You will see above it that we have our first T-shirt club design right there, which we just focused on a moment ago. Deconstructed Vader. And this is, what was the size on this? It is a 20 by 30 uh, gallery wrapped canvas print. I love that. This is probably my favorite release that you've done of this, of this specific design. I, I am a sucker for canvas prints. Yeah, they're slick. I love how they look. It, it looks great. I, and I hate to use the, the phrase real art, but that's what it feels like when you're, when you're looking at a kit on art on canvas. Yep. That's no, usually absolutely. what people equate art to is it's, it's on canvas. It hits that expectation that people have when they buy like a quote unquote high end piece of art. They want it. That, that's what you want. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. You pan back up there to that thing. <laughs> it is such a gorgeous piece. It is such a gorgeous piece. In my opinion, there is absolutely no better choice we could have done for Thank you. the first t-shirt club, t-shirt design. I really appreciate you guys having me. It's, it's pretty nice being the first one on the, on the block. You're the first one on the block. Shout out to Haley, number two, coming next month. Number two. A little Ahsoka action. It's going to yeah. be here. Ahsoka it couldn't, and it could, couldn't have been better it's with the... Uh, see, we decided on Ahsoka as one of the first two choices. Uh, of course, you know, that got voted. But, but it was super close. And we did that before Clone Wars got reannounced. That's true. It was before. Because it was like it that was next before. week when all that all that news dropped. I actually, actually Facebook messaged Haley, and I was like... I hope you saw this stuff. So. Oh, yeah, she Haley, messaged me. Haley and I were <laughs> yeah, she probably talking back and forth like crazy that entire day. She and I were talking about it a lot that day. Um, we're super excited. I can't wait. Um, I'm just waiting for her to come up with a Rex idea because you know it's coming. Yeah. Oh, oh, I definitely want some Rex action. I love Captain Rex. He's amazing. Great character. Um, so, Mr. Warlick's art can be found here at Order 66 Toys permanently now. It is... 190 East Stacy Road, Suite Sweet 1334, Allen, Texas. That's right. There you go. Mm -hmm. Villa legendary Villages of Allen, Texas. <laughs> legendary. That's what I say. I We're hope making it'll, them legendary. I hope it will catch so legendary on. legendary before and, uh, we got here. But. The, the, con the complex yeah, I hope so. Man, thanks, you guys. You did all this advertising for us. Do you have your stuff displayed any anywhere else? I do not. This is it. You can find it online. So these are um, exclusives? These are exclusives. These are in-store exclusives. And not only exclusives... 
they're originals. Yep. Exclusive originals. Absolutely. With a lot of these items. Aside from the Skull Vaders, the Skull, the re Deconstructive Vaders are prints. Yep. But they're Metallic awesome. prints. And metallic, metallic prints. They're metallic prints. You got or the little extra canvas. in there. Yeah. Or the giant canvas print. Giant so yeah, you can only get them here. And while they're in the store, they're not for sale online. So they are truly one one well, what if somebody here. from Australia or something wants to order something from you? Where they can, where can they reach you? They can reach me at um, theartofwarlick.com. The Got Warlick. a uh, portfolio, storefront, sign up for the mailing list, follow me on social media, all that fun stuff. Art of Warlick. Twitter, though. Instagram. Yep. And it's artofwarlick.com or theartofwarlick.com. Take your pick. Oh, wonderful. Oh, and in case you guys didn't hear, in case it hasn't, in case you haven't seen the update or the update is still in the works. The 8th anniversary of Order 66 Toys, oh, yeah. our birthday weekend, Super if secret you will. news. Um, we are changing that, that event from Labor Day weekend, which is the weekend of the 1st, to the weekend of the 21st, 20, 22nd, and 23rd. And why do... Of course, we're not going to say who it is, but maybe, but maybe we had to work around somebody else's schedule. And it is a very special, special guest. We like him. You're the gonna, fans like him. You're going to love him. And we will let you know in due time. Look at the smile trying to creep across his face. <laughs> it's, hard there it is. it's hard not to say. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm very pumped about this. Official this is, announcement coming what? This week sometime? Hopefully. We're hoping to have the official announcement of who it is. That way second, you guys... Second the tickets are bought. That way, you, yep, are bought. that way you guys can prepare your Heather, special you family vacation trips for that weekend as well. So... I would say maybe postpone those uh, family vacations that you were going to do on um, Labor Day weekend. Trust me, it doesn't matter compared to what we're going to have. You already have people here guessing who it's going to be. I'm not telling. We're not going to say. We're not going to say yes. We're not going to say no. We're not going to say anything until the official announcement has been made. Is that Timothy saying Dave Filoni? No. Okay. Because yep. then he'll say, oh, great. You have to wear a Stetson with him. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say no. Why are you giving them ideas? All right, Mr. Worley's got to get out of here. Yep. He's got rush hour traffic to be home. Oh yeah, that's not. I got a dog fun. to walk. Out. That's that's really where I'm going. But it's all about the dog. Well, we we know what's important. Heckin' good, heckin' good, anyway, heckin' good puppers. Thanks, uh, thanks for tuning in today, and be sure to check out our announcement video. Check out. Um, did we put a page, uh, post up about T-shirt club already? If not, you will. If not, we will. <laughs> there. There's more information. If you want, you can sign up in store. You can sign up online. Just message us on our Facebook page on how to do that. We'll even have easier methods to sign up in the works very soon. We're trying to figure that out this week, actually. Yeah. Um, so. Bobby still has to wear the hat, LOL. No. Is that Timothy? No. Who is that? Steven. Is it Booty Gig? Steven Hogue. Hogue? Steven, no. I don't do Stetsons, man. No. Um, no. Oh. Uh, yeah, Robbie the Rancor does, ships, though. That's true. I'm just telling you right now, you don't get to meet the uh, the special guest without a Stetson on. That didn't give it away. See, you almost made me say something that could have almost don't given it. it away. Don't do it. And I'm not going to no. say it. So, be tune in later this week. Unfortunately, we're not going to get to our unboxing video today. We just don't have enough time. We've been slammed we have helping our customers, but we will still do tomorrow. it soon. We do have part swap live to Hey, maybe we'll do it tomorrow if we have time. Yeah. If we have time, we'll try and we'll do, do it tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. Hopefully. But part swap live is also tomorrow. Part swap is tomorrow. So if you're in town, come to part swap. It's a lot of fun. Lots of bins, lots of pieces, lots of awesome deals going on. Come to part swap. We'll see you later. We'll see you another time. May the force be with all of you. Thank you, Mr. Warlick, for coming out. Thank you, out. guys. Appreciate it. We love you guys. Peace. The power of the dark side.